Hey folks, Danny Rubino here with Windows Phone Central and I'm live updating the HTC 8X right now. Uh, you can check it out. It's been downloading for the last couple of minutes and this is actually going to be installing what looks to be a firmware update for this phone. Uh, and the rumor has it this is bringing the lock screen Wi-Fi capability. Basically we can run Wi-Fi continuously. Now this is not for the AT&T phone. Uh, for 8x we just checked that and that's not available uh, sorry <laughs> to tell you that this is currently the international version will of course be following the update to see if it does roll out for other carriers which there's actually a possibility it may happen we don't know all the details of this update um, we did force it to see you know we manually checked it and it downloaded it and it's been stalling probably for the last three or four minutes Okay, folks, we're back from the preparation for the installation of the update, which took about eight minutes for the download and the device to get ready. And as you can see now, we are looking at the update screen, and you can see this is an OS level update, and it is delivering numerous fixes, including uh, different levels of the OS. So it's gonna go from 99.05 all the way up to 102.11 including several quality improvements, and you can see it's listed there. So this is actually pretty significant here. This is uh, the first time we're ever doing this. This isn't just a simple, I mean, technically it is a patch, but they're actually gonna update the whole OS. And you can see we have the options here to postpone or install. I'm obviously gonna postpone it. No, I'm just kidding, I'm gonna install. We'll see what happens here. Now, the update is completely downloaded and ready on the device and it's already prepped which means the only thing that should happen here is the phone should restart and go back into it uh, i can confirm this does have the persistent wi-fi fix in addition to fixing the reboot issue now i'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering if this is coming to other phones and i bet it will we're not sure if carriers are going to interfere with this or not but we'll see what happens And as you can see, the OS is now installing. So check it out. Those are the gears. The phone has successfully rebooted, hopefully for the last time unintentionally, we should add. Uh, I should point out my 8X here did constantly reset. It was actually pretty frequent. I would say three to four times a day, the phone would just sit there and randomly reboot. So this phone, at least this version, definitely had this bug. We still don't know the exact cause of it, but... Uh, as you can see, the OS is installing now. I don't know how long this will take. Okay, we've rebooted the phone and we're back into the OS now, but we're not done yet. No, there is still more. Migrating your data, one of four and we're at 2%. This is a pretty impressive update, obviously. Uh, this isn't just a simple firmware patch, but a complete OS, meaning there's a lot to be done here. So. Although it's over the air, it does take a little bit of time. I'd say this process is going to probably be about 20 to 30 minutes for most people. But hey, we didn't have to plug in and it was automatic, so I can't really complain too much, right? Okay, now that we finished migrating our data, we are back into the OS and check it out. Look how excited when this phone is. It's update completed, update completed, update completed. It's almost as if they couldn't believe it themselves. So we are done. We're going to hit done now, and we'll go back into the OS. We'll go right into settings, and we'll go into Wi-Fi, or maybe not. Let's hit advance, and check it out, keep Wi-Fi on. I don't know why that's saying that. Oh, I think it was trying to connect to a different network. That's my bad. Anyways, here we go. Keep Wi-Fi on when screen times out. So there is the feature as everybody was expecting. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, we'll go through and see what else has changed for this operating system. But right now that seems to be it besides some of the other fixes, but we'll update the post as we discover things. So there you go. Head to Windows Phone Central for more information. Take care, bye.